For practice at exercise 6.3 negative sum, we are asked to write a method named negative sum. So we'll first start with a public static void negative sum with parentheses and braces. We take a scanner as a parameter. So inside of our parameter, we'll have a scanner. We'll call it scan. And we are reading input from a file containing a series of integers like this. And we need to determine whether the sum starting from the first number is ever negative. So basically, if we add these together, if that's negative, we'll return true. If the next um, three numbers are negative, it'll return true, and it'll keep going until it reaches the end. If it reaches the end and there is no negative sum, it will just print out no negative sum. So what we're doing is we're basically counting the amount of times this runs, and we're also counting the sum. We're adding everything together. So we'll have two variables int sum and we'll set that equal to zero for now and this and we also have int steps and we'll set that equal to zero also for now since we are running through a file we need a while loop and we'll run this as well as long as scan dot has next int because we only have ints in here so we only need to worry about ints every time we run this loop we've taken a step so we'll do steps plus plus now all we need to do is compute the sum. So we're going to do sum plus equals. And the reason why it's plus equals is because we are adding on to the previous sum. And this is going to be scan.nextInt. After we do this, we're going to have an if statement to check if these are positive or negative. And in our if statement, or what we can do is use our sum as a comparison. So we'll have sum. And if this is less than zero, or if that's less than zero, we are going to return true. Because this question is asking us um, if it, if it um, hits a negative sum, it will return true. And if not, we're just going to return false. So the only way we would return false is if we break out of this while loop. And the only way to break out of this while loop is if we never get a negative number because if we do have a negative number, our if statement here will catch it. Now we just got to print out the text. So we have um, text right here that's no negative sum. So we'll have a system.out.print line. And in here we'll have our string as no negative sum. We also know that since we're returning a false and a true, we're going to be returning a boolean. So we can replace this void with a boolean and then lastly above return true we need to print out this right here so we'll have a system dot out dot print line and in our print line we want to have the number so we'll do sum and then we'll have after and then we need to have how many steps we had so we'll have steps and then just the string steps if we submit this we need to get rid of this int since it's being declared on the same line with a comma and we need a semicolon there and then after we do that we have passed all of these tests so this is the code that will give us the correct answer and the output for this problem